Israel's recent decision to ban the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, that is UNRWA, from operating within its borders has intensified international discourse, raising concerns and condemnation from various nations and organizations. This move was marked by legislation passed by Israel's Neset, barring UNRWA from functioning within its jurisdiction. The agency has historically provided essential services, such as education, health care and housing support, to Palestinian refugees across Gaza, the West Bank, and other parts of the region. During a Security Council session, Palestinian envoy to the UN, Riyad Mansour, expressed strong opposition to the new law, calling it a new level, in what he described as Israel's war against the UN. He highlighted long-standing grievances, citing how UN staff and peacekeepers have faced violence, arrests, and even fatalities. Despite the agency's 70-plus years of providing essential aid to refugees, Israel has consistently scrutinized UNRWA, arguing that it fosters anti-Israel sentiments and serves as a platform for extremist groups. This characterization has been firmly disputed by UNRWA's leadership and its allies, who maintain that the agency's mission is purely humanitarian. The legislation was met with disapproval globally, Many countries have voiced support for UNRWA, emphasizing the agency's critical role in addressing the humanitarian needs of millions. Leaders from nations including Russia, China, Qatar, and several European countries have spoken out, denouncing the Knesset's decision as harmful to the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Gaza and the surrounding areas. Adding weight to the UNRWA defense, the agency's Commissioner General, Philippe Lazzarini, warned that Israel's decision sets a dangerous precedent, signaling potential consequences for international humanitarian initiatives. He emphasized that discrediting or disabling UNRWA could drastically impact the basic needs of over 5 million registered Palestinian refugees, limiting their access to vital services. Since its founding in 1949, UNRWA has evolved from an organization that offered basic refugee services to one managing facilities for healthcare, education, and housing for displaced Palestinians. Today it operates 58 recognized camps in the region, providing vital support in some of the world's most politically and economically challenging environments. Amid ongoing hostilities, UNRWA itself has suffered heavily with the recent escalation in Gaza resulting in the deaths of over 220 UNRWA staff members and extensive damage to its infrastructure. The stakes in this debate are high. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has expressed his intent to address the issue with the UN General Assembly. The Palestinian envoy to the UN continues to urge the Security Council to take meaningful action, asking for greater accountability and intervention. The UNRWA debate underscores deeper tensions within the Israel-Palestine conflict and serves as a critical point of contention in the discourse around international humanitarian aid and diplomatic responsibility. Stay subscribed for more videos.